we were just checking the difference between these two cameras. Um, we've got the, they're both Panasonic Lumix. Um, one is the FZ38, and if I remember rightly, is the good old LZ20. I've had so many people asking me, is this the better one, is this the better one, etc, etc. So what I've done is I've gone out and I've taken a couple of pictures, um, more than a couple. I've taken a lot of pictures with this camera and I've compared them to this one. Now comes the other little bit. People were saying that um, if we sort of just go up here slightly, love your picture on the wall. How does that, how do you do that, etc, etc. Right, okay, let's go back to square one. So we started, that picture just here was taken with the FZ38. Happy camera, I like it. So we'll just put him to one side and we bring back the LZ20. So we took him out for the day um, and we're going to show you the results. For these um, pictures, they have to go onto Photobox. I'm not sure, is it .com, whatever. But anyway, they then sort you put the picture on, you upload it, and you decide how large you'd like the picture to be. And we just had them back today. So we haven't even opened them. So we've ordered them. We've had a look on, the, on, the, on how it should look on the internet. But let's actually see the final bit. The, the cameraman seems to be wandering around with the camera so we'll bring that back here because the producer's just actually knocking my shoulder on this one. There's the camera, that goes down here. So we'll bring up the first bit. When you order from Photobox this is how it appears which I think is really good packaging. So you open up You've got your details of how your picture should look, where it came from, thanks for your picture, etc, etc, many thanks for this. Extremely well packed, we've got a little bit of bubble wrap, but inside, and this is the picture out the camera that I've just shown you, the LZ20, and with a little bit of flapping about, we can pull the picture out, excuse me, for a minute. Oh, before I finish, each and every time they turn up, you get a little bag full of these little things. They're screws, they're, they're attachments, plus also they give you the instructions of how to, depending on where you want to put it, how you want to put it, how you want to hang it, etc. Yeah, so they're all there. There's your finished picture. However, that's got a glaze on it because with the packaging that photo box do, and this is on the canvas. Setting. You get canvas light, you get canvas medium, but there's your finished, your finished product there, which I think that's quite good. And that's taken with the camera we've just shown you. If I flip it over, And we'll just focus in on here. That sort of finish that you've got here, you've got the, the, the way the fold around, the fold around there, and on the corners, everything's stapled into place. Everything's, I don't know what the join is with the woodwork, but it's a wooden frame. I would say basically that would last you years and years. So I'm going to flick it back round again, and that's what's going to go on our wall. That is a reasonable picture, I would say. We've got another picture as well. Do you want to see that one? 
So we'll do that one quickly. We'll put this one away because it's going to go off on our wall in a minute. Here's the second one. Same packaging, same thing. Cost of postage for these two, believe it or not, was £10. £10. Secure postage and packing, which is extremely hard to, because I've got my scissors on me. Yes, I have. Another little simple photo. You hang that on your wall. That looks quite good, I think. Cameraman, what do you think? <laughs> 